Hello and welcome back to Master Jory in Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. So, we um, are trying to expand our land a little bit. We're not putting a lot of effort into it, but we're trying to do that. We've become Master of Arms. We're friends with Lord Paramount Eddard. Our children are being educated by him. His children are being were being educated by us, but apparently are now being educated by someone else. Who's now educating Sansa? Now Rickard Silver Axe again. Weird. And Arya is now Septon Ronald. Do we dislike her liege for that? No. Okay, so it must be a thing that the mod has done. Like, to move them away. It's not like a decision that um, Ned has made. It's like a decision the mod made. Okay, so we no longer have the wards. But for a brief time, for a brief time, we're educating his children. Right, so, uh, yeah, let's continue. Biggest news of things that happened recently is that, um, what's it? Lord uh, Kevin Lannister was imprisoned by uh, King Robert and is probably still imprisoned by King Robert. What's that? That's King's Road. Oh, it's got a little picture. How neat. Uh, I just want to have a look here. Kevin. Oh, no longer imprisoned. Yes, he was let go. All right, then. Fair enough, fair enough. Taxes are changing and all sorts of things. My lord, news from Winterfell of a trial by combat. Brandon Norrie demanded trial by combat from his captor, Lord Paramount Eddard Stark, but was defeated at the hands of his opponent, Hullen. As a consequence, Brandon was forced to take uh, the Black as brother of the Night's Watch. Brandon Norrie is now brother of the Night's Watch, and Lord Rickard Norrie is now in charge of Shadowmoor. Okay, and Hullen being a sworn shield. So it's 60 against 40. So yeah, went the way it should again. Okay. Oh, what's happening here? So this is the Vale has uh, got all of its men ready. It's attacking Lord Paramount Hoster in the Riverman War for Isella's claim on Runestone. Interesting. So what's very interesting about that is we could potentially get involved in this war. I don't see where Runestone is. Wait, is she attacking or defending? Defending. All right, so Runestone's good. I was looking on the wrong side. I still don't see where Runestone is. Whose claim is it? Or Isilla's claim. I don't know who Scylla is. Runestone's gotta be in here somewhere. Uh I don't know, I don't see an obvious runestone, really. I could use the uh province finder. Which is obviously this one. Uh Lordship of Runestone. Oh, it's over here. Alright. So, Lord Andar. So I can just go to Claimant so I can see Scylla is here. Scylla Royce. Okay. So yeah, the Trident could definitely uh, call in their allies here. One of which being their only ally being Eddard Stark. See so yeah, that goes. Uh, I thought that was Stark joining the war. Nope. Oh, Kingswood goes all the way up here. Yes, he is in the war. What's fantastic about this, we can now say... No, we can't offer to join his war. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough, we won't. That's fine. We'll merely watch from afar. Are we already in the war? Is that why? Oh, no. No, we're not already in the war. We'd be able to um, see his troops. We're not able to see the uh, enemy's troops. We'll keep an eye on the war, though. We'll keep an eye on the war. It's fine. John Umber died of cancer. So that's, John, that's the small John. Great John's still alive. How many Umbers are there left? There weren't that many. Twelve. Okay. We can send for a new maester. Our maester is dead. Oh. Ah, what does he die of? Poor health. Fair enough. Can't really blame him, can you? Alright, I'll send some gold and see what happens. Anything else you want to do? Not right now. Not right now. I'm fairly alright. My lord, the maester we sent for from the Citadel has arrived in King's Course, a Westerman by the name of Damien. Let's hope he'll be loyal and wise. Okay, he seems alright. Seems absolutely fine. Uh, he's also a court... Oh, he gets set as court tutor automatically. Now, that's cool. I like that. That's And you can override it, but it's a good, uh, that's a good thing. Okay, is he still being educated by... Yeah, he's still being educated by Eddard Stark. That's good. Well, I want to check. Oh, that's a large uh, army over there. In fact, it's some several large armies. How many do they have? 22,000 against 23 and the north. 
to the north another uh, 35. Yeah, really, in the north as an ally is gonna cause problems here. Oh, what's that? That's the sisters. Alright, so they've raised um, their individual army up. Okay. We're winning it. We're winning the war, though. Fine. Keep an eye on all of these ones. So that's uh, All Seen Umber is dead. So there's now still 11 members. Okay. Fine. And I'm trying to see. We can't. Oh, there, there's the nor there's Northern Army. Okay. There's the Riverman Army. Where, where's the main armies? I can't really see them. Well, there's another army of 8,000. Yeah, that'll do. That's about to get beaten up. This army's going to get round there and destroy them. Maybe. Yeah, it's not a large enough army. Oh, the Umbers have formed an alliance with the Karstarks. Interesting. And both of them have a reason to dislike the Starks. That's an interesting one. You can no longer ignore the irritation in your throat. You begin to violently cough. Oh no. Dickon is confident your symptom is not due to a serious illness and it will pass quite soon. Nevertheless, you receive some maltreatment. He insisted that the foul smells of civilization made you sick and ordered us to take daily walks in the wilderness. I'm glad I hired him. Except I didn't, because he'll be my, um... He will be my liege's one, right. Yeah, because ours is Damien, so he'll be um, the maester of Winterfell, because we're currently in Winterfell. You realize you've been free from your cough for a few days now. Being able to sleep at night without waking up coughing is a blessing. I feel better. That's good. Yeah. My grandmother is dead. Pneumonia. Okay. So that's my father's mother. Okay. Uh, is there anybody left up this side of the family? Are we only sleep... Yeah. Grandmother's dead, so no, there's nobody left up that side of the family. How's Roderick's side of the family doing? Exactly the same as it was last time we looked. Just Beth. Okay, but well, what's Beth up to? She's got green dreams. Interesting. She also has a cough. Must be going around. Master Jory. After listening to the advice of a group of my bannermen led by Lord Othar Tollet of Greydland, I hereby enact a series of laws empowering my council to act and vote on matters pertaining to the governance of the High Lordship of Runestone. Thank you. I don't know why you felt the need to tell me in particular, but thank you. The Dothraki. The many cows of the Great Grass Sea have rallied together under the same banner. The leader that managed to unite them all is Jackal the Just. The people of the Grasslands now call their leader Great Kal, and have set their minds not only to ruling the Dothraki Sea, but to spread throughout the world under the leadership of the stallion who will mount the world. Is there anyone who can stop the thundering armies of the thousands of hooves? Something has to be done to stop them. Okay, says Great Cal Jacko. Alright, it's 30,000 men. Oh, and that's the Great John dead. It's now William of Last Tarf as the Umbers alive. Oh my! The Dothraki have a lot of land. And that's all united. Who are they attacking? They must be attacking someone. Um, Magister... Oh, they're attacking uh, Kohor. Alright. Interesting. Well, we'll keep an eye on that as news comes in. What's this? Press council support from the Dawn Forest. Definitely not. You're traitors to the realm. Um, our, ch our child, Beth, lacks uh, an education focus. She does have the flu and a severe illness, so she's actually very low in health. She's haughty. Uh, she's not our child, she's our cousin. Sorry. Uh, she, she's going to be proud, arbitrary, cruel, or ruthless. Willful is ambitious, brave, authoritative, or stubborn. And indolent is charitable, slothful, or gluttonous. So where do these lead? Martial education would make a lot of sense, but I think an intrigue education sound, sounds more likely. Let's go for an intrigue education. It fits more into the world, I'd say. Maybe? I don't know. She's not like an amazing fighter or anything. She's just alright at martial. Uh, okay. No, I'm not going to take your council support. Eddard Stark is now known as the Warrior. Alright. 
Uh, as our son, our son Kalen is now old enough that we could find him somebody to educate him. It might be worth doing so. Yeah. Let's see if we can find him a good educator. What do we want him to do? Be good at diplomacy, I think? Oh, I don't know. What, what's he got so far? He's timid. Uh, humble, shy, or craven? I don't know. He's timid. Why don't we try and get that out of him by finding somebody brave within our realm? Within our realm. So, uh, we'll save this filter as filter slot number one. We'll load slot zero. So, we're looking for a man who is my religion and my culture. Um, is in our realm. And they have to be an adult, obviously. From a great hat. Actually, you know what? Let's choose somebody from our list here. Barth Bowl. You're gregarious, zealous, but you're a little bit gone. You have a little bit of gonorrhea, and you're a little bit of a lunatic. Probably not gonna choose him. Sir Roderick Cassell. He's brave. Yeah. You know what? We're gonna send our son to Sir Roderick. He has cancer, but we'll see how, how that goes. We'll send uh, Kaelin Cassell, Sir Roderick. It's gonna be accepted. Fantastic. To the great Master Jory, blessings upon you and your house. I'd gladly accept guardianship contract between Kaelin and Sir Roderick. Okay. And he's a knight. Gives a chance for our son becoming a squire at some point. And Roderick doesn't hate me as much as he used to. He, he's, he's starting to like me a little bit. Okay. Since I came to Winterfell, we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. Okay, how's this one going here? A lot of armies, but they're not very strong. Yeah, okay, they're... Our armies are all split up down here. Who's this? Oh, that's just some ruins. Okay. Hmm. My liege, my work in the Dawn Force seems to have come to fruition. By bribing, cajoling, extorting, threatening, and forging documents, I managed to fabricate a claim on the castle of Dawn Forest, presently held by Master Helis of the Don of Don Forest. I'll leave it up to you whether to press it or not. Well, we have the money. We we'll lose a little bit of prestige for doing it, but we will obviously accept that so we now have a claim on the Don Forest. Okay, what are we gonna do with that? He has less men than us. He's nowhere near as capable as us in a fight. I think we take him. We declare. We claim the Dawn Forest. I'll raise up our men. Merge the army. We'll have our wife lead in the center. And we'll have Roderick leading the side flank with not that many men in it. We'll march on the Dawn Forest. Is there a river crossing? There is. Might not be the best plan. We'll, we'll march down to White Knife if there's not a river crossing between those two. There's not, so we're marching down to White Knife. March back here, and march up to the Dawn Forest. Request council support from the Dawn Forest. Uh, that's gonna be a no from me. Thanks, though. Right. Oh, the war down in the Vale is almost done. Oh wow, that's some good battles one down there. So we've moved over to the Dawn, for Dawn Forest. We'll start sieging it down. Oh, who died? So the war is over down there in the Vale. Um, Donald Wainwood died. But Donald Wainwood. All right, he's in the Vale. Grave news: Maester Damien, having been tending to the wounds of your men, at you, your command is reported to have cracked under the stress of the stream of grotesque injuries. The men are now unnerved because of this. How unfortunate. Yeah. This uh, is now held by uh, Isilla. Interesting. Right, we'll continue our siege. We should be able to take it. Uh, if I want to get back to the right map mode. It's fine. I think we'll be able to siege quicker than they'll be able to siege. Yeah, we're getting there. Howland died under suspicious circumstances. Okay. My wife doesn't seem very content at the moment. She wants more clothes, better shoes, and fine dresses. Then say, my dear, I can't refuse you anything. If you want clothes, make them yourself. Will we go into debt to, uh, we can't go into debt, no. If you want clothes, you'll have to make them yourselves. We don't have the money right now. 
or steal them. My lord, I'm pleased to report the successful siege of Glen Castle. Master Hallis Mullen could not be found, however. Yours humbly, Daisy. Well, we'll take um, Mistress Pera uh, as a uh, house arrest, under house arrest. Is she married to, she is married to Master Hallis. I'll take them both under house arrest. I'll take her under house arrest and I'll offer my peace and I'll force her demands. We have now taken the Dawn Forest. I'll expand our troops in a second. Yes. Our Justicier uh, should be performing statecraft, probably. I'm not going to ask for help managing my titles. We we merely have to hold on to our title. What's the uh, the Jure High Lordship? Winterfell? Dawn Forest? Winterfell. I find it unlikely we're going to be given Winterfell, but that's fine. We can hold on to these two provinces. Very all right. So now we have two. And that will earn us a little bit more money now, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Oh, wait, no, I should have had him fabricating claims over here. Oh, not in Torrance. Oh, wait, the other two we already have, uh... Yeah, we already know about. Interesting. The Dawn Forest was the only one we knew were traitors. Okay. We'll keep an eye out for others. My lord, I believe Para Ironsmith has been in your custody for too long. I hereby offer to pay the ransom to secure her release. I trust you will accept this fair offer. Regards, Halus Mullen. You know what? I will accept. I was going to release her for free, but I will accept. He is furious at me. He's absolutely furious. I will, of course, set him a special interest and see what happens. I accept your offer. Okay. We have a little bit more money now. How much do things cost to build? Quite a lot. But 75... Actually, 75 isn't that bad. We can probably afford a 75 cost one. Aegon Targaryen invades. A young silver-haired man has landed in Westeros, claiming to be Aegon VI. Trueborn son of Rhaegar Targaryen, rightful king of the Seven Kingdoms. It is widely believed that he perished in the Red Keep at the hands of Gregor Clegane during the War of the Usurper along with his sister Rhaenys and his mother, Elia of Dorn. It is purported that it is not Aegon who perished there, but some peasant baby who was put in Aegon's place. Now this claimant lands, and he has the Golden Company at his back. Well, on that, we are going to be ending the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.